Hey everybody, this is Bijan Samad from ORA Dog Training. In this little video, me and my friend Harley here, who is apparently very hungry, are going to show you a little bit about food luring. Is your dog chewing up your house, dragging you down the street and jumping on you and all of your guests? Or do you just want your dog to come when called and listen to basic commands? I've put together a comprehensive online dog training program to help dog owners just like you. Gain control and transform your dog from rowdy to obedient without confusion while being coached by a professional through the process. To learn more, visit oradogtraining.com slash learn. Lure means that we're using our dog's food, kibble, maybe treat to lure our dogs in different positions or teach the dog how to heal or walk through our legs, make circles or spins or any of those fancy little tricks. My friend Harley here is super motivated. As you can tell, he's very hungry. I'm using his breakfast. Kibble, you can use just a regular pouch. You can put it in your pocket. You can also get a little fancy vest. Either works. Whenever you're working with your dog, whatever side you walk your dog on in general is the side that you want to feed from. So if you're walking your dog, sit. I know you're hungry, buddy. <laughs> if you walk your dog on the left, feed from the left. If you walk your dog on the right, feed from the right. So let's get started before this guy gets too impatient. All right, ready buddy? All right, so put your food in the hand, make a little cup, so this way the dog can eat out of your hand right here. Good job, buddy, very nice. And it's not taking off your fingers. If you're using smaller or bigger pieces, you can also put the food between your index finger and your thumb, and you can feed it one by one. Good job, buddy. All right, ready? Let's go, heel. So now we're putting our left hand next to our knee in order for us to teach the dog to stay in this healing position. If we're moving our left hand away from our body, we're going to move the dog away from us. So here, heel, good job. So we're using the word heel to indicate the position as we did in our healing drills. Heel. Now when I make a left circle or a right circle, I put my foot in front of the dog's mouth and I move my body to the left so I can bend the dog's body. Heel, good job buddy, very nice. If we're making a right circle, I'm moving my right hand in front of my body and stepping backwards. Good job buddy, very nice. If I want my dog to sit, I pick the food up, put it as soon as the butt goes down, I feed the food. Good job boy. So now Harley, we already introduced to the down so we can use our left hand and we drop it to the ground down. Very nice. And as soon as the dog goes down, we're feeding. Good job, buddy. If you want to keep your dog in a down, just keep feeding. Good boy, buddy. Very nice. Good job. Heel. We can also use the food to teach our dog to go to place. Place. And we can turn him around. Good job. And feed. If you have two place cards, you can teach your dog to swing in the heel by here, place, heel, sit, very nice, and feeding. Good job. Teaching your dog the front position, you step forward on your left foot and lure the dog with your left hand forward, and the moment the dog passes your left leg, you step back on your left and ask him for a sit. Harley, front, step back, sit, yes, good boy, and feed. Very nice. To teach your dog a teardrop into heel with your food, you step back on your left foot, bring your left hand back. The moment the dog passes your left foot, you step back forward again and bring the dog into the position. Harley, you ready? Here, swing the left hand forward, sit, and feed. Good job, buddy, very nice. Spin is a circle for the dog counterclockwise. We step out to our right, we lure the dog around, bring the hand back towards the dog's butt, and we feed. One more time, step to the right, spin, yes, good job buddy, very nice. The command circle means for the dog to spin around clockwise around its own body. We step out to the left and we lure it with the hand towards the dog's butt to bring the dog back in a circle. Ready buddy? Circle, yes, and feed. When your dog is facing in front of you, you can teach your dog to go through your legs. 
Facing the dog, food in the left hand, spread your legs, and place your hand and the food behind your feet. Ready, buddy? Go through, and lure the dog through your legs. One more time. Bring him up front. Sit. Spread the legs, make a side step to the left, and let the dog walk through your legs by showing him the food. Go through. Yes, good job, buddy, very nice. And feed. If you taught your dog successfully to go through your legs, you can go from go through into center, where the dog's supposed to be between your legs. So we bring the dog front, sit, feed. Good job, buddy. Now we make the dog go through the legs, go through. And now we step forward and bring the dog right between our legs. Yes, good job, buddy. Yes. Now when the dog is between your legs, just keep feeding him, getting comfortable. Now you can also start moving forward or moving backwards. Good job and feed. You work for money, I work for money. Your dog's gotta work for money as well. Now, their food is the money. If we create a value to our affection, love, and food, we can utilize that to work that in our training. Ready, buddy? Good job, all right. Heel, very nice. Now we can make left circles, right circles. Ask our dog for a sit, sit. Very nice. Once the butt is down, we feet down. Good job, buddy, very nice.